hello everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i wanted to share with you uh this i guess it's the holiday edition bobby brown and it is another kind of camouflage i feel like we're going into the camouflage camo whatever you want to call it um area because uh like the natasha denona palette this is camouflage as well um it does say here so online at nordstrom's right now you get 15 percent of it off because the price matching uh macy's so that is good to know it is a limited edition palette that's a modern spin on the icon i i can't like iconic camo print why it's different this palette features six matte metallic and sparkle shadows for multi-dimensional eye looks plus a light reflective highlighting powder to instantly illuminate skin okay so and then it lists the eyeshadows and Bobby Brown Cosmetics was found in 1990 with the introduction of 10 super wearable lipstick shades. Um, and then she followed by foundation sticks, uh, as well as a very, very good complimentary um, skincare line. So I do not own a lot of Bobby Brown. Um, actually, this is the first palette by Bobby Brown that I own. It did catch my eye. I did want to give the individual Lux eyeshadows the green one, um, but they were sold out even online. So that is gone. That ship is sold. But anyway, I did purchase the foundation that is 15% off as well. And I've been wearing it and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm actually not wearing that today. Uh, but I, I wore it like for the past two weeks off and on. And I really, really do like it. Um, in fact, good Lord, what am I wearing today? Um, I am. I am so bad. Weird. I hate when you forget something. You got to remember it right now. I'm wearing my Dior, okay? So now I feel better that I've remembered that. Okay, now that I know I haven't completely lost my flipping mind. Okay, let's go over this. So it is, um, it has like, a sh it's just shiny. There's no rays or embossment. And then it has the shades on the back. I like the fact that it feels heavy duty, not like where I'm gonna throw it against the wall to see if anything will break. But um, I feel very safe if I were to travel with this. I feel like I could bring that in my makeup bag and not worry too much about it. It does have a little mirror. And then here is the inside. That middle comma eye. I love how it swirls like different shifts of gold in the middle. And so anyways, basically what I did was I started from here and I worked all the way around and then I put this beautiful green color on my lid and then uh, this one underneath my eye I will swatch them for you there are only six shades so it won't take up my whole body switching them swatching them switching them oh God. Um, so this green shade here in the middle right here is on my lid and it went on so seamlessly with a brush absolutely stunning i'm wearing the highlighter here here in the inner corner of my eye um, i kind of really wanted to play with it uh the highlighter i will swatch as well now the highlighter has like a texture i don't know if it's a top coat or what but it feels texturized i don't know if you can see it too um i think maybe the more i use it the more um softer it will become but it is a gorgeous melt in your skin color i mean it literally just melts in 
the skin. It is beautiful. And I did top it off with a, another um, highlighter as well. But um, it is gorgeous on its own. So basically, I this I got a look with within like minutes. It was super simple. You do not have to follow, of course, from here to there. But I just wanted to simplify. Uh, but I will be playing with it a lot more. But I'm in love with this shade right here. It is so freaking beautiful. And I'm going to call it a Camo Sparkle Eyeshadow because the sticker on the back, I believe, is reverse. I don't know why in the world they do that. But uh, it is just a beautiful palette. It did not take me very long to create this eye. You can go from a neutral eye to a very smoky eye a night out on the town kind of look or a very simple day look and um no kickback in here and i had absolutely no fallout under my eye even though i just still wait and do my concealer after i highly recommend this is a gorgeous palette again i know not everyone that watches my channel can afford uh the more high end or medium end kind of makeup palettes and i am truly um aware of that and and apologetic but i know i you know want to come on here and review what i have and i know i share plenty with you guys in my giveaways and my declutters which i am working on a whole new declutter because my drawers are over full anyways so i just want to state that because i know i get a lot of people on here like when i did the review whoa whoa god let's not drop it on the natasha denata palette i know i know it's an expensive palette that's why i do a payment plan on this baby um and i i did not do a first impressions on it either because I felt like that would be very unfair to not only myself, but my viewers. Um, so I did wear it quite a few times. So it was not a first impressions. And if you actually watch my video, if you watch my video, I will tell you and show you how I felt about the palette. Because I had a lot of people state that, uh, some people said that it was very, very patchy. And I get that. I, I am so on YouTube. I completely know what was going on. Um, but then there are a lot of other people that have different opinions. Some might work for others that don't work for myself and vice versa. Um, like the Ace Beauty palettes do not work for me. They were complete crap. Um, I gave them a shot over and over again. Uh, so anyways, I just want to st state that because when you leave in comments below things, certain things, I know you haven't watched a full video for one and for two, um, you know, I, I really get that some of you guys can't afford this and that's why I try and do a really good um, channel and try to pay it for, pay it back with uh, giveaways and I feel I'm, I'm very highly fair on that. So my uh, challenge is going for the Halloween. I have not done it myself. I know I've been super, super busy, but I will get to it. Along the lines of that, I did pick up one Bobbi Brown lipstick. It is my very first Bobbi Brown lipstick. And by the way, I have not um, always been able to afford this makeup. And most of the time I can't. I just, when I can, I do. And I am trying to be very particular about it. Um, these are on sale as well. I got the color Tawny Pink. I don't know if it's like focusing or not. Okay. Anyways, I love the gold packaging. It is very heavy duty. I feel very safe traveling with this. Knowing that the cap is not going to come off. And it's just a very sturdy container there is the color it is so gorgeous um i absolutely love this color it's very creamy and um let's see what it says on here a new take on the best-selling luxe lip color this luxurious 12-hour matte amatessa 
Lips that gives a lips a vivid maximum matte look and glides on with a silky smooth feel. It is oil infused, pure matte powder pigments. This unique formula delivers full coverage, a comfortable lightweight feel, and 12 hour high impact color. Okay, so I'm gonna test that out and give you more reviews, uh, more updated reviews. Um, if you guys are interested leave it in the comments below and i will get back to you but the reason why i wanted to shoot this video out quickly was because the 15 percent off is ending today and i figured if anybody was interested um, i wanted to inform you guys before the sale ends on nordstrom and or macy's um, so what I have to say about Bobby Brown is for one, I absolutely love the foundation and that is on sale as well. I believe it is $33. Um, this palette from, I know I'm holding like, <laughs> my tripod is a wreck. Um, this palette is absolutely amazing. I love the feel of it. I love the sturdiness of it. And I love the look I came out with. I love that green shade on my lid is gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. Um, and the lipstick I feel is very creamy, very comfortable and no way drying, which I need right now. Cause my lips have been so freaking dry. But anyways, I absolutely love it so far. I have to say Bobbi Brown, I give it a plus plus. And I am impressed. I'm very impressed. And um, hopefully we'll be obtaining more Bobbi Brown in my future makeup collection. But as of now, this will do. And I will play around with what I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys soon.